So this video is about how to bake out your curves in Maya. Now what do I mean by uh, baking curves? Uh, so here's a shot that um, uh, I demonstrated this week, which is Monty running along uh, next to a uh, subway station, which we imported from uh, TurboSquid. Now, what I've actually done here is I've just done a run cycle on Monty. You can see the keys here from, uh, from frame 1 to frame 19. So that's a, a, an 18 frame cycle, um, 9 frames per step. But because we've got the infinity curves turned on, uh, that's here under curves pre-infinity cycle and curves post-infinity cycle, uh, and they're under view infinity, because we've got those infinity curves turned on, Maya will continue with that run indefinitely. Uh, and in order to make Monty run along the ground, what I've done is just turning off the subway geo here, your subway geometry, um, I have set a translation on the Z uh, translation curve there uh, in order to make Monty uh, run across the screen uh, for 54 frames. And I can adjust that translation to make him run faster or slower, although of course I have to watch out that I don't make his feet slide along the ground if I get it wrong. So at the moment I'm just eyeballing that in order to make it feel more or less okay. But let's say for example that we wanted to have Monty run along the ground uh, and then stop and then uh, look around and uh, you know maybe maybe he sees an old friend maybe he reacts now in order to do that we're gonna have to add some animation to the end of the shot but we can't do that because the infinity curves are turned on uh, because essentially all Maya is doing is multiplying out this action so what we need to do is bake all of these curves out um, and by baking I mean getting Maya to um, uh, change this so that there are keyframes on every frame. In other words, what we're going to do is take the the cycle which is on infinity and turn it into actual keyframes. That's what we mean by baking the curves. We're going to turn it into actual uh, burned in keyframes within this timeline. So what I'm going to do in order to make that happen is I'm going to go to edit keys bake simulation. Edit keys bake simulation and I'm going to click here on the options box and then I'm going to go edit reset settings which is what we always do when we first open up the options box. Now um, the default settings is to bake the keys out um, on all the channels uh, by one frame. Now what that's going to do is it's going to give you keyframes on every single frame. That's probably more than you need. So I would suggest that we set the sample to 2. And what that will do is it will set keys on every second keyframe. So we will, we will end up with keyframes on 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so forth up to frame 54. And that's what we mean by baking curves. Let me show you how, how it works. Okay, so now I'm going to click bake. And now, if I look at my keys, we've got keys on every frame up to frame 54. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all these curves and I'm going to turn the infinity curves off because we don't need them anymore. So I'm going to go curves pre-infinity constant, curves post-infinity constant, and I'm going to go under view, turn off infinity. So now our curves are back to normal. No more infinity curves, but you'll see that Monty is still taking uh, uh, all those, he's still taking one, two, three, four, or is it five steps forward? And now what we can do, crucially, is we can add animation to the end of this shot. So we, we're now, our shot stops at frame 54, uh, and we can now, uh, say, make the shot go to 81 frames. And we can now add some animation here at the end. So we can now bring Monty to a stop, and then have him look around and do whatever we want. So by baking out the curves, you give yourselves keyframes, which can then be adjusted as you like. We can we can now we can adjust these keyframes now. We can we can we can you know tweak his run. We can have him we could have him run slightly to one side. Uh, we're no longer restricted by the simple cycle that we created 
which was on infinity. We can now adjust the individual steps. We can make them slightly eccentric. We can do whatever we want because we've now got actual baked in keyframes that we can adjust. And that is what I mean by baking curves. And you will do this a number of times in the course. When we create walk cycles, we will add a forward translation on the walk and then uh, or add a forward translation on the world mover, then bake out those keys. Um, and um, uh, we will be, uh, uh, um, uh, we'll then have editable uh, uh, keyframes. So that's it really. That's how you bake out curves. Um, and uh, uh, that's um, that's how it works. Uh, it's an incredibly useful tool um, and uh, gives you the ability to very cheaply have a character walk into a shot and then do some animation. And we'll do it later on when we do uh, quadrupeds. So we'll do a horse walking and I'll show you how to bake those curves out and then we'll bring the horse to a stop and have it do some kind of uh, equine uh, behavior, something of that nature. So that's basically how it works. Remember, edit, uh, keys, bake simulation, options box. Uh, and we could have baked out those curves on anything. We could have had them at keyframes every frame if we'd wanted to, but that creates an awful lot of keyframes to edit, or perhaps every four frames or every eight frames, although that would leave us with a lot of in-betweening to do in the run cycle.